Hi, and welcome to Brick Maths. In today's video, we'll be learning how to add fractions with different denominators. If you're not sure how to add fractions with the same denominator, watch this video first. Here is a calculation. 3 quarters add 7 eighths. You can only add or subtract fractions with the same denominator. If the denominators are different, we need to find a common denominator. 8 is the common denominator, as it can be divided by 8 and it can be divided by 4. So we need to find an equivalent fraction of 3 quarters, with 8 as its denominator. We multiply 4 by 2 to get 8. So we need to multiply the numerator by 2 as well which is 6, so 3 quarters is the same as 6 eighths. Now that the denominators are the same, we can add the fractions. 6 eighths add 7 eighths equals 13 eighths. We can turn the improper fraction into a mixed number. 1 whole and 5 eighths. Here is another calculation. 14 twentieths add 2 fifths. First, we need to find a common denominator. 20 is the common denominator because it can be divided by 20 and it can be divided by 5. So we need to find an equivalent fraction for 2 fifths with 20 as its denominator. We multiply 5 by 4 to get 20. So we need to multiply the numerator by 4 as well, which is 8. So 2 fifths is the same as 8 twentieth. Now that the denominators are the same, we can add the fractions. 14 twentieths add 8 twentieths equals 22 twentieths. We can turn the improper fraction into a mixed number, 1 whole and 2 twentieths. Now we can simplify the fraction, as 2 twentieths is the same as 1 tenth. Fractions Challenge 1 Here is a calculation. 8 tenths add 3 fifths add 1 half. Pause the video to give you time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. How did you get on? First, we need to find a common denominator. 10 is the common denominator, because it can be divided by 10, 5 and 2. So first we need to find an equivalent fraction for 3 fifths, with its denominator as 10. We multiply 5 by 2 to get 10, so we need to multiply the numerator by 2 as well, which is 6, so the equivalent fraction is 6 tenths. So now we need to find an equivalent fraction for 1 half with its denominator as 10. We multiply 2 by 5 to get 10. Now we need to multiply the numerator by 5, which is 5, so the equivalent fraction is 5 tenths. Now that all the denominators are the same, we can add the fractions. 8 tenths, add 6 tenths, add 5 tenths, equals 19 tenths. We can turn the improper fraction into a mixed number, 1 whole and 9 tenths. So that's it for adding fractions. If you want to keep learning, keep an eye out for more videos by Brick Maths.